In this video, we'll discuss a line and a parabola and its condition of tangency. Now, this method, it is a very general method and it can be used for any general second degree conic. So, suppose we have this parabola which is y square equals 4ax and then we have this line y equals mx plus c. Now, with parabola and line, we have three separate possibilities. Either this parabola and line, they will never intersect or this parabola and line, they will intersect at two distinct points or this parabola and this given line, they are tangent to each other. So, they will touch each other. Now, how do we find this condition? So, what we will generally do in this question is, in this question, we will find points of intersection. And how do we find point of intersection? So, for point of intersection, we will just need to eliminate the variable. So, I will put the value of this y in this equation. So, for point of intersection, I can write mx plus c whole square and this is 4ax. So, I can open this square. So, I can write m square x square plus c square plus twice mc into x and this is 4x. Now, I can write it as a quadratic equation in x. So, I will write it as m square x square plus 2m into c minus 2a into x and then plus c square equals to 0. Now, this is nothing but a quadratic equation in x. Now, we know that for a quadratic equation, there are three possibilities of its roots. So, either this quadratic equation has two real roots or it will have equal roots or it will have no real root. So, when we take d greater than 0, then we get two separate values of x. So, that means this parabola and line, they will intersect at two distinct points. So, in this case, we will have a condition where this parabola and line, they intersect to form a chord. Now, when d is equal to 0, so that simply means there is only one point of intersection. So, if there is only one point of intersection, then it clearly means this parabola and this line, they touch each other. And if d is less than 0, it simply means this parabola and line, they do not have any point of intersection. In that case, this line and parabola, they will never intersect each other. So, this is how we can work out the three conditions, whether a given line is going to intersect a parabola at two points or it will touch this given parabola or they will never intersect each other. Now, we need to also work out condition of tangency. So, we know that for condition of tangency, this value of d, it should be 0. So, if we take d equals 0, we can write d equals to 0 as b square which is 4 m into c minus 2a whole square and then minus 4, what's a? a is m square and then c square and it should be 0. So, I, I'll cancel this 4 with 4. So, I can write m square c square plus 4a square minus 4a m into c minus m square c square, it should be 0. So, m square c square, we cancel. So, I can write 4a into mc should be equals to 4a square. So, I will cancel this 4a also. So, I will get c equals a by m. So, that is the condition of tangency of this line and parabola. So, this line y equals mx plus c, it will touch this parabola when the value of c is equal to a by m. Now, once we have this value of c, then we can write equation of tangent for this parabola also. So, we know that for this parabola, y square equals 4ax this line y equals mx plus c is a tangent when the value of c is a by m. So, what we can simply say is if we have this parabola which is y square equals 4ax and for this parabola if we need to write equation of any general tangent then equation of tangent will be y equals mx plus c and what is the value of c? c for this parabola should be a by m. So, this is how we can write equation of any general tangent to this given parabola which is y square equals 4ax. Now here the question is if this line x plus y equals k touches the parabola y equals x minus x square we need to find value of k. So again we find point of intersection. So I will replace this y with k minus x. So I will write k minus x and this is x minus x square. So I can write this quality equation as x square minus 2x and then plus k equals to 0. Now, condition of tangency is value of d, it should be 0. 
so then I'll get four minus four k equals to zero. So that means value of k simply should be one. So this line will touch this parabola when the value of k is simply one. Now in the previous video we have discussed how to find condition of tangency for a line in a parabola. We can use the same method for condition of tangency for a circle and a parabola. In this question it says a circle which is x square plus y square plus two lambda x equals zero and y square equals four x. They touch each other externally. Then we need to find value of lambda. So again what we'll do is we'll substitute the variable. So I write y square as 4x. So I can write this equation as x square plus 4x plus 2 lambda x equals to 0. So it will be x square and then plus I'll take 2x common and then it will be 2 plus lambda equals to 0. Now this quadratic equation it should have only one root otherwise it will intersect at two distinct points and it will have only one solution when the value of d is 0. So value of d is 0 when b square minus 4ac is 0. So here I will get 2 into 2 plus lambda whole square it should be 0. So that is value of lambda should be minus 2. So this circle and this parabola they will touch each other when the value of lambda is minus 2.